Hello, Internet Deadly friends. My name is Rich. Thank you so much for joining me here on the uh, Toy Isle Alliance YouTube channel. I want to do a terrifying trinket video on this terrifying trinket. Terrifyingly awesome, that is. Um, he is the uh, Mezco 112 Collective Frankenstein. And yes, I know it's Frankenstein's monster, but the box just says Frankenstein. Um, this is an amazing, amazing piece. In case you don't know, uh, Mezco's 112 Collective uh, series of figures are essentially 112 scale uh, hot toys. And if you're wondering what a hot toy is, that is essentially a 1 6 scale human being. Um, these are highly detailed, uh, highly articulated 6 inch action figures um, that actually have cloth clothing. Um, typically, I'm not a fan of uh, soft goods on uh, on 6 inch action figures. I just don't think it looks right. However, Mezco has put a lot into their uh, R&D and engineering of these outfits. And it actually looks, looks proper. It looks like a shrunken down uh, Frankenstein. My small critique of the outfit are, and you may have heard this in other reviews, the uh, boot cuffs, um, or his pant cuffs, are a little short. His pants should be a little bit longer. Um, otherwise, though, I mean, I, I just think this outfit is outstanding. I mean, this is not, you know, a baggy outfit. And they've managed to, you know, make this fit on the figure quite well. Um, this is the previews exclusive version of Frankenstein. Um, the regular release was actually um, painted um, to, to look black and white, to look like a black and white film. Um, I have the color version. Um, it wasn't a hard exclusive to get. It seems like, you know, the color version and the black and white version, you know, were made in fairly equal amounts, I suspect. Um, most online retailers were selling both of these. Um, I would have been happy with the black and white one. This was actually another early uh, birthday gift because I am a spoiled brat uh, from my brother. So he opted to get me the color version, which is cool. I am desperately hoping that we get a uh, Wolfman and Dracula to go with this guy. Um, at the very least, a, Frank, uh, a Dracula and Wolfman to go with this guy. I'll take as many Universal Monsters um, as possible. For accessories, um, he comes with this uh, figure stand. That has kind of a cool retro mad scientist electro thing going on. It also has uh, sort of the posts that you would put in here that has the little, uh, the little arm that goes around his waist. So if you want to pose him a little differently, you can. Um, otherwise, you can just stick his, and I did not explain that very well at all. You know, the little thing that has an arm and it goes around the figure's waist. You know what I mean. Um, you can, so you can display him that way or you can just uh, stick his peg, uh, the, the, the hole, the peg hole in his foot right in there and he stand he stands fine even without the uh without the figure stand i'm going to use the figure stand because i'm terrified of my higher end figures falling over he also comes with if i can find them and i did oh before i get to that all the uh, mezco 112 collective figures come with this baggie to put the accessories in um, so you can tell this is really made with collectors in mind uh the other accessories he comes with are this absolutely stunning alternate head with a more menacing, uh, menacing look. I really debated which head I want to display him with. Um, ultimately, I chose this one, the more passive, sad Frankenstein's monster because it looks a little more iconic, but look at that. The paintwork on these are, are absolutely superb as well. And to change the head, you basically just pop this one in and pop this one in. Pop this one out and this one in. Don't know how to change uh, action figure heads. He also comes with an extra set of hands. Actually, a whole extra set of forearms. Out of the box, he has these uh, slightly more relaxed hands. Um, or you can swap them out for these kind of, uh, again, like the alternate head, a little more menacing hands. I have split the difference, and he has one of each. And also these awesome shackles. Uh, so there you go. The Mezco 112 Collective Frankenstein. An amazing action figure. Uh, I'm not showing off a whole lot of the articulation, but trust me, he is well articulated. Clearly, he is well sculpted. That is the best Boris Karloff Frankenstein's monster head I've ever seen. If you're a horror fan, especially if you're a classic horror fan, try to track this guy out. He's, he's not a new figure. He's been out for a little bit. Um, but you can still find him online. Uh, and again, it will run you, if you're here in Canadaville like me, um, once you get shipping and exchange, you're paying over 100 bucks for sure for these guys. But honestly, I think they're well, well worth it. So there you go, guys. Mezco's 112 Collective, previous exclusive color, Frankenstein's Monster.
All right, until next time, I will see you. Uh, video bad. Uh.